transformation that we all desire starts from each and every of the activities that we carry out. When as government, we continuously look for ways to ensure that the services that we provide are a lot more nimble, fast, effective, and of the best quality, we'll start to see the significant change that we want to see uh, in our societies. But if the president cannot sit in his office and have a true picture of what is going on across all the critical sectors in the country, we will struggle. Efficient data exchange will lead to efficient decision making. Cost savings as well, we need to avoid duplication of effort and resources by leveraging existing data. Do you know even within government, people are collecting the same data set that has already been collected by other people. I think the biggest example is National Population Commission, our census. If you actually do data exchange properly, you don't need census. Because if you capture the data when people are giving birth to when people die, there's nothing more really. <laughs> That's simply what, what census is. Because I believe that with the consent management system being managed effectively among the MDAs, we'll be able to realize the vision of the Honorable Minister in ensuring that we have a digital public infrastructure that would enhance data exchange in the country. When we talk about silos in the MDAs, to break these silos is to come together with all the key MDAs, come together, sit together, and decide on which role and responsibility to be played by each agency. They will look at your documentation, what kind of documentation process you have in place in terms of your information security policy speaking to your software policy, bring your own device policy, network security policy, uh, internet user policy, all these things that we need to evaluate to look at what we refer to as your technical measures which you have put in place to ensure that you secure the data of uh, Nigerians with you. To take advantage of the opportunity, um, just sitting here and listening to all the actors in the sector, there are so many opportunities to grab right now, especially where um, the NDPC was talking about data protection, um, skills acquisition courses, all of these opportunities are here. And then there's a necessity to, right now at this stage and era, to take advantage of upskilling. So I feel if we're able to collaborate and work together, I feel the civil service will be ready to take on any challenge that is related to data and digital technology sitting in different MBAs or in silo. So you actually don't have a true picture of the entire government. So making it difficult for policy making, but also in some cases even for the president to see the entire overview of what's happening. So we've decided this one will focus on data exchange, where we start to have conversation on how we build a framework and standard to ensure that the data being collected by different MBAs can be plugged together. And it's then easier for someone from the police to see the data set that is being generated for maybe social services, for instance. Or when you give that to a new child, you know, that the Ministry of Education knows what is coming from the pipeline. So we can we can have that seamless integration of data. And it can help us to better run the country. So that's what this one focuses on. And the idea is that from here on, over the next probably three to six months, our goal is to have a framework in place through which we can have, actually have a platform for data exchange.